All right. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for coming to our 4 o'clock uh, press conference on uh, Tropical Storm Hermine. Uh, I'm Kathy Haynes with the Charleston County Emergency Management Department. And I would like to introduce uh, to my left is Roger Dangerfield. He is with the Dor he's the deputy director for Dorchester County Emergency Management. David Chinnis is his chairman of the county council, and Charlie Potts is his deputy uh, administrator. To my right is Lori Kidwell. She's Homeland Security Special for Berkeley County. Uh, also to uh, her right is Michael Rodenbach with the Charleston County School District, and. Right behind me is uh, Elliot Summy, the chairman of Charleston County Council. And what we would like to do is to kind of just let y'all know, brief y'all on what we're doing uh, at the Tri-County area as far as getting ready and monitoring uh, the tropical storm. And uh, first off, um, uh, Charleston County government, non-essential departments are closed tomorrow. Um, we have, our libraries are closed also, and our county courthouses are closed. Uh, the Beast Ferry Landfill will remain open, but the uh, uh, convenience centers will not be open tomorrow. Uh, our Charleston Center will be open uh, until uh, 10 a.m. offering uh, treatment. And there is one bond court session, but I apologize I don't have the time on that right yet. Uh, also, I want to add that Charleston County garages at Cumberland and King and Queen will be open uh, for free for people to park starting at 4.30 this afternoon. Uh, for those that live in flood prone areas downtown Charleston, they can park in that garage, but they need to have them removed by noon on Saturday because uh, unfortunately they would be towed if they don't. Uh, at this time, I'd like to, to, oh, excuse me, I forgot, Charleston, I mean, uh, College of Charleston is also closed tomorrow. Um, I would like to turn it over to Roger so he can speak about Dorchester County. Good afternoon. Uh, Dorchester County Emergency Management uh, will be going to OpCon 4 at 5 o'clock today. Um, the school district 2 and 4 will be closed tomorrow. All county offices will be closed except for essential personnel. Um, we're activating our citizens call center for folks to call in that are concerned about the storm. The number is 843-832-0393. And we just like to remind people of flooding. If you see flooding, an area that you can't know you can't go through, turn around. This time I'll turn it over to Lori Goodwill. And I just wanted to let everybody know that at 1700 or 5 p.m. this afternoon, we will be going to OPCON 4, that's for Berkeley County. Our citizen call center line is 843-719-4800, and that will be activated at 800 or 8 a.m. in the morning. And our Berkeley County schools will be closed tomorrow, and the Berkeley County government offices will be closed as well, with the exception of already identified essential personnel. And at this time, I will turn it back over to Kathy. Thank you. Uh, I'd like Michael to come up here and just report about the school district and what their operations is going to be for tomorrow. Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Again, my name is Michael Rodenbach. I'm with the Charleston County School District Security and Emergency Management Office. And as many of you already are aware, all schools and offices are closed tomorrow for the Charleston County School District. After reviewing uh, the information that we were getting from our emergency management partners and also from the Weather Service, we felt that it was in the best interest of our students to cancel, um, cancel school operations tomorrow. So all schools and offices will be closed uh, tomorrow. Information will be sent out regarding uh, makeup information for staff and employees. But again, schools and offices closed tomorrow. And we anticipate uh, reopening uh, bright and early again Tuesday morning. Thank you. Also, I I've, uh, I've forgot to mention that Charleston County will be going to OpCon 4 also at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And we will have our citizen information line up and running at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, and that number is 843-746-3900. Now, if, we'll entertain a few questions if you have any. What kind of flooding you have you problems do you anticipate tomorrow? Well, based on the, the uh, 11 o'clock track of the, of, of the storm, um, the weather service is basically saying we should not see a whole lot of flooding because of the track, the track it's going and the fact that by the time it reaches our area, it's going to be low tide. So they're not anticipating, but, they, but it could be any, you know, like one to two feet in isolated areas. So it's not a you know, countywide or anything like that type flooding. Okay, 
Operation, it stands for Operational Condition, and uh, the, the uh, state of South Carolina, and along, along with all the 46 counties, use this as kind of a, a way to it, uh, uh, increase our awareness and our response to an incident. So Operation Condition, or OpCon 4, basically means that we're paying uh, a lot more attention and we're like doing the citizen information line, but it does not mean we will activate the EOC. So right, not, right now there's no plans to activate the Charleston County Emergency Operations Center uh, at this time, and we'll, we'll be manning the uh, citizen information line till about 5 o'clock tomorrow. Are you concerned people are not going to listen? We look at this with every storm, they're free, they're mm -hmm. happy, they just don't listen to what you say, they don't listen to what we say. We worry about that. Well, that, uh, Harv, that's always a worry. We, you know, we, you and I have been doing this a long time, <laughs> and, <laughs> and we always... <laughs> And we always worry about that, but all we can do is just, you know, encourage the, our citizens to be prepared. Uh, you know, if the road is covered with water, please don't try to drive through it because you don't have any idea how deep that water is. So the saying of turn around, don't drown, that holds true for those flooded roads and streets in, in any of our areas. Uh, but people need to be prepared. Uh, they need to have a family uh, uh, disaster plan. If they don't have one, if they're new to the area, so this is kind of new to them altogether, then they need to be able to have a family disaster plan, which basically addresses what they're going to do in the event of a disaster. Uh, they need to also have a family supply kit, which basically means they're going to be able to take care of themselves for, for three to seven days. Because as we all say, the, any, any of the impact of, uh, of a disaster, our emergency service agencies that we depend on daily for our safety uh, is not going to be readily available in the event of a major disaster such as this because they have been impacted just like you in, this, in the community have been impacted. So therefore, it is, uh, uh, you may not get uh, help right away uh, immediately following or even during. You won't get it during a, a major uh, hurricane uh, landfall either. Well, outside, they, should, they need to go around their uh, yards and their home and pick up anything loose that could be picked up and thrown and blown away. Uh, anything as small as, I've, I've seen pictures of a playing card have been uh, put, you know, thrown into a tree from the wind and it actually got stuck in the tree. So anything, it doesn't matter how light or how heavy it is, if it's laying loose, they need to bring it in or secure it somehow so it doesn't become a projectile. Well, for the supply kit, they need to have, you know, water, enough for their, uh, every member of their family to last for several days. They need to have food, usually non-perishable food, any kind of medical uh, um, items such as prescription drugs, eyeglasses, anything along that line, special dietary foods. They need to have that available. We, you can go to the Charleston County website, and you can do so with Berkeley and Dorchester, for those of you that live in those counties. And we, we have that information listed on our website. So I encourage everyone to go to, the, to uh, charlestoncounty.org and look up the emergency information uh, for, uh, for the, um, that kind of stuff. And, and also I encourage you to go to Berkeley and Dorchester County website if you, have, if, uh, if you live in those counties. And that will give you an idea of the kinds of stuff you need to have in your plan and in your supply kit. That's, that's, that's correct. We would, you know, encourage, we want to encourage the citizens, if it's not a life-threatening emergency, please don't call 911 because they are, as you mentioned, been inundated with all kinds of calls. They're getting calls, non-emergency calls, which is interrupting and, and kind of, uh, you know, backlogging their emergency calls. That's why the three counties have their citizen information line and provided you all the phone numbers is for if you have any questions or, uh, about anything pertaining to this uh, tropical storm, call those numbers, and we will provide you with that kind of information. Kathy. Any other questions? Kathy. Listen, folks, we know this is inconvenient. None of this makes people happy. It may, disrupts businesses. It disrupts your personal lives. We got Labor Day weekend coming. But the bottom line is let's, for the next 24 hours, 36 hours, let's use some common sense. Don't keep something in mind. I think what we've seen over the last 18 months, whether it's been tragic events or, or weather events, 
We've seen that our first responders, law enforcement, and emergency personnel are the finest in the country. If something's going wrong, we're going to come and help you. But keep that in mind. Use common sense. If you see water on the road, turn around. Because if something happens to you, you're not just putting yourself in danger. You're putting the lives of the, of the law enforcement, fire, and emergency rescue folks in danger as well who are coming to get you. So keep that in mind. Everyone stay safe. Everyone stay dry. And uh, everybody, let's get through this. This is Charleston. These things happen. Thank you all.